I donated my kidney to my boyfriend and he cheated on me and this is that story. Oh my god. When Colin's boyfriend's life was in danger, she found a way she could help. Little did she know what fate would have in store for her. Give me that kidney back. This all started in the beginning of 2015. So we met through mutual friends. He was really cute. Mutual friends? Oh my god, this is even more awkward. It wasn't like a random ass dude that you picked up on Tinder and shit. Y'all have mutual friends, so that means after you broke up, your mutual friends, like, had to choose who to be friends with or be friends with you both, and it just got really even more awkward. ...and outgoing and, um... Oh god, sorry. <laughs> Early on, he told me he had chronic kidney disease and Crohn's disease. So he had to connect to a machine every night to filter out his kidneys. At that time, he was 27 and had it for 10 years. Just Damn. knowing that his kidney function was already below 5%, it made me have this urgency to help him. I didn't want to wait to, you know, have his condition. Wait, how long were they dating for? Did she mention that or did she not mention that yet? Like, was it like a couple months? Is it like a couple years at this point? Are we gonna get a timeline for this? The mutual friend better stick with her. She deserves something after this terrible trade deal. Four weeks, lol. Dude, she should just, you know, be like, hey, let's go hang out in like, uh, let's, let's go to like, um, let's go to Thailand. And then just like have the boyfriend drugged and take her kidney back. <laughs> Give me that fucking kidney back. I want that shit. It didn't get worse or he could have passed away too. Oh, she's when so nice. Donate, you have to be in good health. They have to do tests to make sure your body can survive with just one kidney. Damn, yeah, and this sucks too because like if she ever has kids in the future and her kid needs that one kidney, she can't donate a kidney because she already donated this piece of crapo. And so I had to do a bunch of tests to see if I was a match. Probably around three, four months uh, going to his doctor and getting blood work done and a glucose test, um, different types of scans. And then in November, that's when I got the call. The Doctors told me my body was ready to go and I oh was my God. ready for surgery. Uh, I was tempted to YouTube the procedure before just to see, just to get an idea of what my body. Wait, gonna. is this within the same year that she's met them? I mean, it sounds like she's just too nice. I'm gonna go through, but yeah. I didn't and I, I'm glad I did. Surgery. Why? If you watched the YouTube videos, you might have backed out last minute. It was pretty easy. They put me under um, anesthesia, so. So for Wait, so who covered the bill though? I'm Does this insurance cover the bill? Oh my god, what does she have to pay for this too? Him, his lifestyle change. They took the tube out of his stomach, so he mm -hmm. didn't have to go do dialysis anymore. Wow. He just had to take anti-injection pills and pain medicine. His family was really grateful and they cried a lot. It just felt great for the both of us. I wonder how the family feel. A few months after the surgery. A few, wait, are you a few months after the surgery? Okay, wait, maybe she's not getting there yet. Maybe this was like a couple of years later after the surgery. Surgery, my boyfriend went to a bachelor party in Vegas with some of his Christian friends. Um, his best friend was getting married. He oh no, this doesn't sound very good. He was texting me throughout the trip how much he didn't want to be there and how much he just wanted to read the Bible. <laughs> and then I was responded to him like, no, just enjoy yourself. You know, you don't really go to Vegas too often and you know, you're with your friends, you don't have to go on to dialysis anymore, so... You know, you know something's fishy. Oh, I don't want to be in Vegas with my boys and all these cute girls. I just want to read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Red flags. Just have fun. I didn't think um, anything was going to happen in Vegas because he portrayed himself as a really religious man. Wait, who did he cheat on in Vegas? Ew, gross. Was it like a random ass girl? And he stuck through his morals throughout the relationship. And so I thought this was just a regular weekend. On the Sunday that he was coming home, he came to my house unannounced, panic in his eyes and just like pale, like he looked really scared. And I was just confused on what happened. And then that's when he admitted to the cheating. He- what? Wait, where, did, okay, like strip club cheating or like what kind of cheating? He admitted to doing things. Admitted to doing things with some of the bachelorette party. It's funny because those girls know who I am. What? Oh my god. Wait, why was there a bachelorette? Wait, that's so weird. So the bachelor party and the bachelorette celebrated in the same city, but she wasn't invited. I feel like if, I feel like she should have been invited as a courtesy because her boyfriend was part of the bachelor party and usually the bride would be like, oh, you know, since that's your significant other, you can invite your girlfriend too. Wait, that is so fucking weird. I thought it was like some random ass bachelorette party, but she said that they knew who she was. So they must've been in the same, oh my God, dude, I hope she, <laughs> hope she didn't go to the wedding. And 
I know one of them was a close friend to mine too. And I was what? just broken. And then- So they knew that she had donated the kidney as well. Oh my God. After he came and confessed what he did, um, I had to go to work. I had to go to work at Disneyland, ah! this place on earth. Oh my God. I was scheduled to work at the Churro Cart at Pixar Pier. Oh and I really didn't want to cry in front of the guests. Yeah, at Disneyland, you have to be like really happy, really chipper. She wasn't like Mickey Mouse or nothing, so she couldn't hide underneath the mask. Oh my God, I feel so bad for her. I know a church baby, he said he never, he said he never wanted to, oh wait, he had never said he wanted to read the Bible. That was his guilt talking, that was his guilt talking. One of my coworkers knew something was wrong and then he asked, are you okay? And that triggered me, just the tears just fell down my face and I just couldn't stop crying and then um, my lead let me go home for the night. I thought Aww. about it for a while and I decided to try to make things work. No. Maybe he deserved another chance. No. Maybe we. I feel like if the relationship was that new, then no. I don't think they deserve another chance. If you've been together for a very long time, you had like kids and stuff like that, house and everything, then I think it's okay to give them another chance. But like, dude, when the relationship was that fresh, uh uh. It's hard to be, it's hard to trust someone after that. And work it out. And it's always gonna be in the back of your mind make it happen for us and after everything that happened it definitely hurt my trust issues with him and um it was hard to trust again yeah and then it'll make you go crazy too you're gonna become really paranoid you're gonna start helicoptering checking text messages like it, that it just sucks that type of relationship just really sucks ass. especially when i thought he wouldn't do anything behind my back it did lead to a lot of fighting and insecurities yeah and i feel so bad for her too because she's gonna have a lot of issues in the next we relationship thought a lot probably. about me not giving him enough trust and it just felt repetitive mm -hmm. it really took a toll on our relationship one mm -hmm. day we were fighting about um him resenting me of not being forgiving fast enough and in the middle of the argument he wanted to stop and read the bible together i was like no can we kind of just talk like <laughs> Okay. People, and that's when he just. She just wasn't talking out, man. He's like, no, 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 I'm done talking. Let's just read the Bible together, honey. Shut down and pretty much said, like, oh, if God wanted us to be together, then he'll bring us back together in the end, and hung up. Oh, wait, they were on the phone? Wait, that's even more awkward. Bro, if I'm on the phone talking to you, I don't want to read the damn Bible. I thought if they were sitting like next to each other, I was like, okay, you know what? Let's take a pause, take a break from fighting. Let's read the Bible really quick. Let's de-escalate. No, they're on the phone. Okay, that's even more weird. After he hung up on me, he blocked me on social <gasps> media. And, oh my God. Yeah, just completely cut me out. I felt really hurt that he could just, you know, throw me out of his life like Okay, I'm not I'm not like a fan of doxing or anything, but I want to find out who this person is. Like, I kind of want to like go through her Instagram and be like, who did boy? I want to find out who the boyfriend. Is. <laughs> I just want to see what it looks like. I want to put the the shitty story to the name, you know. I want to find out who it is. I would work at Disneyland five days a week, and it was kind of hard to you know keep that smile throughout my shift. But I decided to make peace with the situation and decided to stop trying to contact him. Even after everything has happened, I still don't regret donating my kidney to him. Despite the trauma and the heartbreak that I had to go through, it did lead me to a better life and that's how I met my current boyfriend. I'm with someone who really loves me Aww. unconditionally. I haven't been happier. I'm not mad at him. I don't hold any grudges against him. Yeah, there's I no point. wish him well and for him to live a happy life. Nah, fuck that. You can wish him well but live a happy life? Mm -mm. Nope. <laughs> I find his ass. Yeah, I'm like, I don't think her information's on here though. Like, I would totally look through her Instagram but like, I'm, sh I'm sure she probably deleted all her old pictures or something but dude. Oh, you can find her TikTok right there, though. Like, who, who this guy? I want to see what this person looks like. You know, I just want to see, like, what type, what, what type of person would do this. You know, I just want to look at their face. But if it's been, like, years, like, you know, it's better to just move on at that point. But damn, that sucks. She seems so nice. I wonder what ethnicity she is. I couldn't really tell. 